What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I'm going to be opening 20 legendary engrams. Now I've saved these for the past two weeks now, quite a grind to be honest, not going to lie to you guys, but let's just get straight into the video and see what we get. If you guys could leave a like though, I would appreciate the support as it really does help out. Okay, let's just cash in this. This, this, this glimmer, let's just cash in that shit. Now we're gonna start with the armors. Now basically I'm hoping to get just just this decent light level shit. That's all I'm hoping to get to be honest. Uh, let's start with that, okay. Pandian type ones, uh, whatever they are. Pandian type zeros, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, hopefully get a, an exotic as well. You never know I might get an exotic out of all of these. Um, it's pretty likely to be honest. Um, it's getting the same old, same old, but these will obviously turn to marks if not needed, so it's all good. Uh, mark of the arena, a uh, helmet, dusk, render type 0. I've got that already. I can't even pronounce that, whatever the fuck that says. Uh, and that. Oh, yes! You know, actually, I need. I need an artifact on my Titan. I actually don't have one whatsoever. I've got a, well, I've got a blue, uh, which is pretty shitty. So that should take up my light level quite a bit if it's over 300, hopefully. Oh, I've got another one. Well, what do you say? What can I say about that? Uh, can't really complain, to be honest. Um, same mode, same mode. Pandian Titan ones. Oh, Byronic Hero. Not bad. Uh, Toa Huayan. Does that say? Whatever the fuck that is. And the next big thing, shotgun. Now, shotguns, if you saw the update yesterday getting it, well, yesterday or the day before, can't really remember, got a, are getting a massive, massive uh, nerf. All that shot package is being taken off your shotgun. So if you've got a shotgun with shot package, expect it to be replaced with knee pads or some shit like that, which is actually, I believe, is a good thing. Shotguns are way, way, way overpowered. Uh, but yeah, let's take another look at what we actually got. Uh, let's start with the armors. Okay, so I got, well, my... My helmet I'm using now is 295, it isn't the raid one, so 287 and 285, so both pretty useless to be honest, they're just going to be marks because they are not needed. Arms, gauntlets, well I've got a 310 gauntlets but I could do with a higher light, nope, still shit, uh, but I have got my raid ones there that are 304 which I can trade with my immolation fist, so that's all good, these are just marks. Um, my War Newman's chest is 309, I doubt any of these are going to be anything like that, no they ain't, so more marks. Uh, War Newman's boots are 300, so here we have even more marks, um, but the thing is none of these armours to me are good enough to warrant me replacing my, uh, my raid armour with, even if I could infuse them, I mean there's nothing here that really interests me mud wise, to be honest. Um, let's have another closer look. No, not really. What about the helmets? Intellect, strength, uh, discipline, strength. It's basically the same old, same old. Let's have another look at this artifact. Now, you see, I've got 293 artifacts. I've got 300 blue there waiting, 285 and 287. So, I'm just gonna put on this judgment of Mars and I'm gonna infuse my 300 blue into it because. That seems smart. Now let's just do that right here. Otherwise, I thought, oh no, I won't because I ain't got mortars of light on me. Uh, well, I'll do it later then. Uh, what did we get here? Now I've got a 300 Pandora mark already. Uh, 286, 273, 293, and 284. So nothing warrants me replacing this, to be honest. What's that? That's 292. There's no point in even infusing that. I mean, I could probably infuse them into these. Or can you? Can you? I don't think you can, can you? Oh, yes, you can. There's one which you get with the collector's edition, this one here, which you can't infuse, which is weird. Uh, and they need to change that, to be honest. I mean, people are paying, I paid actually $20 to get this, to get the emotes and the uh, class specific uh, uh, class items and shaders. And they're useless. It's 300, 170 defense. You can't infuse it. It's completely fucking useless. It really is. And they look good as well. I mean, let me just equip that. I'll show you how it looks if you haven't seen it. looks pretty badass in my opinion. Uh, with a hammer on the side. Reflecting the armour. Looks fucking amazing. Um, yep, yeah, but that's that for the armour. So what did we get here? Weapon wise, oh that's just the package I just picked up. Okay, so we've got the Toa Hua Yarn, does that say? Let's have a look at what we got on this. 
Um, we've got life support. Kills with this weapon while critically wounded have a chance to re well, start regenerating health. We have explosive rounds, snapshot and casket mag and we also have firefly. Uh, it's 284 attack as well, which isn't too bad. I mean, I've got my raid sniper. Is that my raid sniper? Is it is my raid sniper at 310. <sighs> yeah, look at that. I got. Oh shit, damn! But the one I've got there isn't that great, to be honest. This is the one I've currently already owned. As you can see, it's got danger close, battle runner, and no Well, it's got a range pack there, hand loaded, which doesn't really do anything, to be honest. Uh, let's have a look at this new one I got. Let's have a look. Okay, so we have Accurized Ballistics, which improves range and impact a little bit. We have Crab Control, which is always good with shotguns. Uh, well, not amazing, but you know what I mean. Run to the back of a group of enemies, you kill one, you get bonus damage. I have here Full Auto, which is a plus because uh, makes a shotgun shoot faster, if you didn't know. We then have lightweight, we have hand loaded, and we have oh rifled barrel. So this isn't bad whatsoever. I'm actually quite happy with that 284 as well. Might infuse that for trials and iron banner next week and be a sweat like a lot of other people, you know what I mean? Um, and for the also, well for the primary we got the Byronic Hero. Uh, this is a hand cannon. Obviously a crucible hand cannon. On it we have last resort. This weapon handles and reloads faster when the wielder is the last living player on the fire team. I don't really like hand cannons though, to be honest. It's going to have to be something really, really good to want me use it over a pulse rifle. To be honest, look at the range on that though, but then again, look at the fucking reload. Take about a week. And we have Army of One. Quick unassisted kills with this weapon, reduced grenade and melee cooldown. To be honest, this is probably just going to be another set of fucking... Legendary marks because I just don't use hand cannons and the hand cannons I've got I've got a Hawk Moon 310. If I'm gonna use a hand cannon, that's the one I'm gonna use. But yep guys, that is what I've got at 20 legendary engrams. Uh, do drop a like on the video, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for daily destiny uh, and peace out until next time. Peace! Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get it right